Well, that was the amazing thing about that particular fight. If you watch that fight, the first 10 punches were five for Bouchard and five for Jonathan, and all 10 landed on their targets. And then Bouchard quit swinging, and, and Stanley just pummeled him into, into submission. What happened there was he had a knack that no, no that I've never seen. He could throw his right. He'd start always with a right, and in the same motion, and then when you're fighting, you're all, you get settled on a left-hander, you get settled on a right-hander. He could switch, and, and, and that's what he did with Bouchard. He switched. I came back with the left and caught him dead right on the ringer and uh, broke his nose. And on the way down, Stanley was, i tell you, you, you I, I, most fighters, when they got a guy on the way down or they get a guy down, they'll stop. Hey, listen, you get in a fight with Stanley, and everybody knew it. If he had you on the way down and he got you down, he didn't stop. And that was, uh, that's why everybody was <laughs> I remember Dave the Hammer Schultz in uh, his book, The Hammer, he said, um, I, I really couldn't sleep when I was going into the Boston Gardens. I couldn't sleep the night before. He says, we had five tough, tough guys, but they had five guys that were tough and psycho, too, <laughs> which hey, I loved. Bru Bruins, Canadians, Thursday, do we expect retaliation? Should uh... Well, what happens, they really don't have anybody like that. And if it's a close game, no way, and they'll be everybody will be there, you know, and all of the president and commissioner, all of them will be there. But I don't know if it ever gets a big blowout either way. It uh, there could be a lot of fun, but usually when that when the game back after something like that, nothing ever happens. Hey, Don, why do you call Mario Lemieux the biggest pony? Is it just because of his stance on the headshots? Absolutely. When you come out and said I'm going to get out of the out of the league, and uh, I, I the, hey, this is terrible. Uh, I really have to look at the NHL. Starts uh, knocking the the NHL, and then he's signing che paychecks for Cook. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. He could have. He could have straightened them out a long time ago. But he comes out against headshots, and he's got the headshot guy of all time. Ridiculous. Grapes, before we say goodbye, who wins the cup this year? Uh, I like Vancouver, the way they're going, although they lost uh, Manny Mahota the other night. Yeah. And, boy, he was the best guy on the faceoff. But Vancouver, they don't. They got two great goaltenders, so it's tough. To, it used to be in the old days it was either Canadians or Islanders or the Bruins, but anymore, boy, anybody can win it. As you saw, Philly almost win it, hardly made the playoffs. So, but if I had to put my money on, I'll put on Vancouver. How much did you make 22 years in the minors? Did you, did you make more in those 22 years or like last week on the job you have now? I made, uh, I, I, when I started out, I made $4,500. I made $4,500 for Eddie Shore and Omnet, and the 10th year they cut me to 4200 <laughs> <laughs> And your suit probably costs more than that now. No, you're not kidding. I mean, uh, they peel it off for tips now. <laughs> Don Cherry, always a pleasure talking with you. Let's not wait 30 years before we do it again. Uh, we enjoyed it very much. Okay, John. I'll see you, Cherry. Don Cherry with Dennison Callahan on the AT&T Hotline.